God is good. Amen. All right, we're going to continue our series because we're almost done. We are almost done with this series on diligence. This might be our last week. I think this lesson, maybe one more lesson. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. Well, we had a good run, right, on uh, laziness, diligence. You can always go back and listen to the teachings. I try to make it available on YouTube in an organized fashion. Amen. All right, so let's pray. Lord, thank you. Thank you once again for a wonderful day. We, we want to say we love you, Holy Spirit. We welcome you. Come, Holy Spirit. Inhabit in our song, in our praise. Inhabit in our hearts. Come, Holy Spirit. Touch us once again. Give us a fresh touch from you. Oh, how we love you. How we love you. Open our eyes that we may see, our ears to hear, and our heart that we may receive your word. That the word that go forth may land on good ground and bring forth fruit to perfection so that we may lack nothing for our destiny. We bind the thief that comes to steal the word in the name of Jesus. Let us guard the word of God with, with all diligence. For out of it are the let us, issues of life. Let us guard our hearts. Keep the word in there. Amen. Okay, so today we're dealing with the uh, topic on uh, diligent networking. Networking. So part of your diligence is to align people that will be your support and your helpers. Amen. So networking is good. Uh, you know, we can't do everything ourselves. <clears throat> the uh, networking is is a broader aspect of a team. There's your core team, the t your team that works with you, and but then there's your uh, you can call it global team or outward outer circle team networking allows you to expand now this is not just for business owners and business people networking is also important for life your day-to-day -day life in the day-to-day -day life we need help we need support Amen. People are important. You know, some information might come from someone. Someone that you know. Uh, or someone that you know might be able to connect you with someone else. For something that's important to you. Amen. So networking is important. What is, what is a network? A network is, the definition is the action or process of interacting with others to exchange information and develop professional and social contacts. Amen. Uh, the process of interacting with others. So interacting with others, you know, so when you're lazy, you wouldn't want to interact. Because why? Because it takes work. <laughs> lazy people, they don't want to work. Any, anything that requires work, effort, they don't want to do it. But the diligent will work. Amen. And it's in the name. Look at the name. Net 
work. <laughs> you get it? Net work. You're working to uh, knit or to net to catch. Hey, catch fish. Why, why not catch, catch fish? As actually, uh, when you talk about evangelism, there's your networking there. To be an evangelist, I think we all should be an evangelist one way or another. There's a difference between uh, taking a, a fishing pole, right, and catching individual fish, but then if you, if you throw the net, if you throw the net in the ocean, you're going to catch multiple fishes. So a net, a net network, networking is when, when people are all connected. So it could be that you know someone, but that person knows someone and that person knows someone else and that person knows someone else. So there's a network a network of uh, people with valuable information for you. Valuable information. So it's up to you to get in in that network. If it's a particular field, you get in that network. Because it's valuable to you. One saying, I heard one saying, your network is your net worth. And there, there's a truth to that. You know, there's five, sorry, there's seven streams of wealth. Seven streams of wealth. And one of the streams of wealth is uh, influence the people, people. And this is networking, networking we're talking about. Streams of wealth. Network is important. So does it require diligence? Yes. Because it's one thing to meet someone, but to maintain the relationship. To maintain relationship requires work and diligence. Maintenance. Amen. To maintain relationship. You meet someone and then uh, let's say you didn't talk to them for a whole year. But then there's something you need. And then you call the person. And then, you know, of course, there are chances they'll still help you. But it's just better if you maintained the relationship along the way. Instead of, uh, you know, just calling them out of the blue. So all of that is diligence, right? Networking. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. What area in life do you need to network? Remember that... Uh, Su successful people did not become successful by themselves. They had people that helped them along the way. So networking are people that God has for you to support you, to help you. And, you know, it's a win-win because you have information that will help them and they have information that will help you. So it's to give and take. It's a win-win. You have something you bring to the table as well. Networking. Amen. Hallelujah. This is a very powerful habit to have. Now to be a good networker, 
You have to learn to be social, learn to talk, learn to be open, share, ask questions. When you ask questions, people will have answers. Amen. Hallelujah. Okay, let's read some scriptures. Here's some Bible verses. Proverbs eleven fourteen. 14. Adonai, we love you. Where no counsel is, the people fall. But in the multitude of counselors, there is safety. That's networking. Networking is a multitude of counselors. They have information, information here, information here. Network. Multitude of counselors. Get information from different sources. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Uh, here are some more scriptures. Bob, the Bible says, you know, you want to network with the right people, the, the people that fit your group. Uh, Proverbs thirteen twenty: he that walketh with wise men shall be wise, but a companion of fools shall be destroyed. So when you're networking, you find your particular niche, your field of interest. You don't, you don't just want to network with anybody. Because um, time is of utmost importance. Time is valuable. So you want to choose where to invest your time. You, you, don't, you don't want to just network with anybody. You want to cho choose who is valuable to, to you. Uh, you know, what field are you in? What did God call you to do? Because time is important. Jesus said, I must work the works of him that sent me while it is day. Night when night coming when night cometh, no one can work. You know when night comes, when it's time for you to go leave this earth. That's when night comes. So you need to do what you need to do now. Fulfill your purpose. And networking will help speed up the process. Hallelujah. Uh, here's another one. Proverbs 15.22 Without counsel, purposes are disappointed. Once again, but in the multitude of counselors, they are established. Multitude of counselors. That's networking. So Proverbs 11.14 and Proverbs 15.22 are similar. It says, without counsel, purposes are disappointed. But in the multitude of counselors, they are established. The Bible says, where uh, uh, by two or three witnesses, every word be established. So, what is that? That's networking. That's networking. Hallelujah. Proverbs twenty seven seventeen Iron sharpeneth iron, so a man sharpeneth the countenance of his friend. Iron sharpeneth iron. They have something they bring to the table. You have something you bring to the table. That's a networking. One person doesn't know everything. You need other people. Uh, 
uh, Ecclesi Ecclesiastes 4, 9 and 10. Two are better than one because they have a good reward for their labor. If they fall, the one will lift up his fellow. But woe to him that is alone when he falleth. For he, ha for he hath not another to help him. So networking is your outward team. Is your inward team those who are part of your inner circle, part of the business. But then the outward team is those who are, you know, maybe partners or just um, valuable acquaintances or friends. Hallelujah. Okay. Um, amen. And even in the body of Christ, we need to network. Colossians 3.18 says, Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly in all wisdom, teaching and admonishing one another in psalm and hymns and spiritual songs, singing with grace in your hearts to the Lord. You know, in the book of Acts, there was a lot of networking involved. Different churches that were established and Paul was very good at networking. You know, hallelujah. And the Holy Spirit also helps with networking. He'll tell you, call this person. You know, go see this person. Go here, connect with this person. Don't waste your time with this person. <laughs> and so forth. Amen. So the Holy Spirit is a good networker. He knows that you need people. Amen. So the net, your, your network, cons consider it your outward work, a uh, broad work. You're throwing the net. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Okay, well, you guys, that's our lesson for today on diligence. Be a diligent networker. Interact with others. Connect, connect, connect. Makes your life easy. All right, I want to pray for those that are watching. I want to pray. I want to pray that God bless you, that God will heal you. Amen. God loves you. He loves you. He loves you. He loves you. He loves you. So if you're sick today, I want to pray for God to heal you. Join your faith with me. There's one major barrier for sickness, that's unforgiveness. So you need to forgive no matter what anybody has done to you, you need to forgive. You need to forgive. There's two main reasons why you need to forgive. Number one, Number one reason you need to forgive is because God forgave you. God forgave you. And the second reason you need to forgive is because if you don't forgive, God says he's not going to forgive you. And that's scary. I don't know about you, but that's scary. You know, nobody's worth going to hell over. 
Even if you don't want to forgive, forgive. Forgive for your own sake. Amen. So take a moment, examine your heart, forgive everyone. lay your hands wherever you feel the pain. I'm going to pray for you now. In the name of Jesus, I command every sickness to go. I rebuke that sickness right now. In the name of Jesus, be healed. Be healed. Amen. Glory to God. Well, I'm excited. God is doing great things. Ladies and gentlemen, I want you to go and get this book, Face-to-Face -face Appearance from Jesus. Get you a copy. It's available on, go to joshuamediaministries.org. joshuamediaministries.org. Why should you get the book, get this book? Many people have not seen Jesus. You know, you don't have to wait to go to heaven to see Jesus. You, Jesus will appear to you. After reading this book, Jesus will appear to you. As my spiritual father, David E. Taylor, was writing this book, Jesus said, everyone that reads this book, I will appear to them. He made a covenant with them. And I read the book. I read this book and I saw Jesus. Go get you a coffee. It's also available on Amazon. It's also an audio version as well. Can't wait till the movie come out. The movie. <laughs> face to face, appearance from Jesus, the movie. Hallelujah. You guys, we also did a series on humility. You need to get this book as well. Victory Over Pride, Triumph and Humility by David E. Taylor. Joshua Media Ministries.org. Get you a copy. And uh, on Saturdays, we started a series on the heart. I believe that's probably the next series we're going to start here. A heart series. A heart is a currency. There are so many different types of heart in the Bible. And many people do not know that this is one of the ways God answers your prayer. He sees type of heart you've developed. Get this book, The Heart, Currency of Heaven by David E. Taylor. And there's so many other books. So many other books. You guys go to joshuamediaministries.org. Get a copy of all these books. It's a blessing. All right, well, we are done. I want to say I love you. Remember to love God with all your heart, all your soul, all your mind, and all your strength. Love him more today than you did yesterday. And love people the way Jesus loves you. And all will be well. All will be well. All right. Thank you for joining me. Love you. Bye-bye. One thing I forgot to do, I want to invite those that are watching to our fellowship. I want to see you come and join me for powerful service. Saturdays, we are at Cal UMS Private University. The address is 1126 North Brookhurst Street, Suite 207, in the city of Anaheim. Anaheim, California, 92801, and that's at 3 p.m. And uh, Sundays, Sundays 
Yeah, we are at 14565 Valley View Avenue, Unit A, Building A, Santa Fe Springs, California, 90670. It's at 3.30 p.m. Want to see you? Come and join me. All right. Till next time. Bye-bye.